Hello everyone, it's Mr. Chu again. This video will teach you how to create a game entitled Who Wants to Be a Millionaire by XML Programming. Okay, so let's start. In this exercise, I will provide some samples of the file of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. So this file is a compressed format so as you can see here, the icon is a set of books locked with a belt. So this means that this document is a compressed file. The only way to open this compressed file is to use two software, either WinRAR or WinZip. Either of the two will do. So in my case, since I've installed already WinRAR, then I can extract the compressed file using WinRAR application. To do that, select the object, then right click, and then extract to who wants to be a millionaire. When you click it, the WinRAR software will automatically create a folder for you which holds the same title of the original compressed file. So when we open this file, it contains three folders the applications, Shockwave, and the XML document. So to preview the game, double-click the application, Swift file of the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Then this is the interface, and you should be hearing music once you open this, but as of the moment, you can't yet, because I'm using headphone and you can't hear it. So here, mm, this is the game that has 50-50, call a friend, ask the audience so let's try to play the game let's start so here I have encoded some of the questions like for math so for the value of X so the question is 2x plus 1 is equal to 5 so the answer for this problem is 2 so when I click 2 I'll be asked if it is my final answer if it is then click yes then I got it right. Then the program will show to you continue. Who is the father of educational technology? So Edgar Dale. Yes. Continue. Who is the current president? So in this game you can have math subject, you can give questions for Filipino, even for multi-language like mother tongue based so in this case I have just for fun here yes it's correct you see so the game is so uh, interesting with, with with the image with the sound and all so to edit th this game to edit this game who wants to be a millionaire all you have to do is to go to the set up icon right click then open with notepad okay open with notepad when you open it with notepad this is the XML format so this is the title who wants to be a millionaire and the program in program in XML programming there's a syntax that you have to be careful like the greater than and the lesser than symbol which has a title always ends with the greater than and lesser than symbol with the title and a forward slash this means the opening and the closing same thing here with random opening random closing meaning to say I can set the questions to randomize if I type yes and I can also set the questions to follow through as being arranged here if I set the randomization no. Alright, so this statement, the beginning of all questions and also the end of all questions. So you notice here I have the beginning, which is question one, beginning and end. So this is my first question. If you can remember, this is the question that I asked that I was asked earlier in the game and I, I then I can also set the answer key which is 2 here 
meaning it's choice number two. So the beginning of choice, the end of choice. Now, here's the key. This is so easy to edit because all you have to do is to encode your questions, set the answer key, and encode the choices. There's no need for you to tweak the syntax so that the program will run well. So for example here, I will probably change this and I, maybe let's go to our history who killed Magellan and killed Magellan so I will not set yet the answer key I will probably type the choices first probably I will put my name then probably here the gong and I will say bet lapu lapu and um, many pakao. So I have here four choices. Who killed Magellan? Choice number one, me. Then the gong lapu lapu and many. So the correct answer is number three. So this is where we set the answer key we set the choices so if we are done if you are done encoding all the questions there's no need for you to put number one or two or so file save when you save it let's minimize that when you save it automatically all the newly encoded text will be carried on to the application so let's double click this and start to play the game Remember that we set the random to no. So let's start the game. See? So instead of showing the math questions, I am now looking at the newly encoded questions, which is, who killed Magellan? And then I have the choices. Mm -hmm. Digo, Sunny for A, Lapu Lapu for C, and Manny for D. So based on my setting, I set C to be the right answer. So click that, and yes, then it's correct. You see? So as, as easy as that, you can edit the game. You can add more questions up to 15. So here, if we, if we will double click the application, you notice that there are 15 levels of questions. 15, from question 1 to question 15 which means to in order to supply all those questions we need to add questions in the XML program so let's oh, oh I think we minimize it earlier so here I have one this is my question first question second question third question I only have three questions in this exercise so to increase the, the questions to reach up to 15 questions we we, we need to move the end part of all questions press enter there and then to increase the number of questions to, to add questions all we have to do is to copy the beginning of the question until the end of that question we you select it then control C select the place this is my cursor control V so this is now my fourth question as easy as that okay control V that's my fifth question and then that's my sixth question so let me edit some let's say question 3 this is my question 3 and this is my Question four this is my question five, whatever your question is. Question six. Now take note. This is my question one. So I've edited my first question of instead of who killed Magellan, I change it to question one so that we can follow what would happen if we set the randomization to yes question two so I have six questions here 
question 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So let's continue. File, save, minimize, and then let's play the game. Start the game. Automatically, I have question 1. The answer is C. Yes, it's correct. Continue. Then I have question 2. So this this happens because we set the randomization to no. So what if we will set the randomization to yes? So let's open the setup again and let's type yes. Then file save. So when we play the game again, automatically the question changes instead of seeing question one what you see here is already question 2. This implies that once you set the randomization to yes, automatically the program will randomize the questions. Not necessarily that your that students that who took this exercise are taking the same question with his classmates sitting beside him. So word of advice instead of giving 15 questions probably you can set 20 questions anyway the program will limit to 15 questions only and you can set the randomization to yes for more choices so let's try to use since I don't know question number two let's try to use this option 50 50 call your friend and ask the audience so for 50 50 this program is also set that when I use it by 50-50, it will give me two choices, leaving the 50% out. I can call a friend. Either I can call Galileo or Benjamin. If I call Galileo, Galileo, Galileo does not know the answer. Let's ask the audience. I think it's D. Okay, so based on the audience choice, it's D. So let's click D and yes then we got it right so that's it that is how easy to create a who wants to be a millionaire's game using XML but then again you need the WinRAR or WinZip software to extract who wants to be a millionaire's game okay so I hope you learned something in this video